It's hard for me to talk about Santa Cruz because I've never lived anywhere else. It's just normal. I mean, I grew up here. My mom was obsessed with the beach. So that was like always her dream is to live in Santa Cruz. So that's where she forced us to live. I don't know, I grew up here. It was like a skate surf town. I never got into either. <laughs> I stayed in the house and played video games and drew. Monsters. I only drew monsters. <laughs> I drew weird shit. There's like a big giant drawing of a kid with a bunch of like weird, like a demon inside of him that's scratching to get out. In third grade, my, um, my teacher recommended that I be evaluated, psychologically evaluated, because she thought I was mentally disturbed. My mom said that, no, he's just an artist. He likes to draw. And she said, that's not art. That's a cry for help. But I mean, I, I basically grew up a lot with my grandma. Um, I didn't get along with my stepdad. So whenever there was a problem, I would just go stay with my grandma or we would all stay with my grandma. But my grandma was always extremely supportive to the point of being very annoying to my mom and my sister. <laughs> to her, I was the golden boy that could do anything and she made me really feel like I could do anything. It was like when she said, you're gonna be a success, it wasn't like she was just saying it. It was like an, a fact. Like that was gonna happen, like that was that. Ether was kind of based around my niece. She kind of reminded me of me because she didn't really seem to like to play with other kids and she liked to just do things by herself and explore by herself and she was very imaginative and she really liked monsters so that whole thing like brought me back to when I was little and then I thought how cool would it be to like make a game that could put other people inside my mind when I was like five, six, seven and uh, that was Ether. So this kid gets on the back of a, of a monster and the monster goes around in space and he gets to explore all these other planets because he doesn't, he can't connect to anybody on Earth so he goes to find other friends. But all these other planets are, are inhabited with these kind of weird or, or sad or nervous creatures. And uh, he goes and tries to solve their problems. I mean, he solves the problems but the, they don't become happy. And he keeps going around all these different planets but each time he solves one of these problems, uh, the Earth gets smaller. And then when he comes back to Earth, and he, it's so small that when he touches it, it breaks, and then he's kind of lost in space. And uh, it was kind of just like the ideas of, you know, it's really cool to be a creative kid, and it's cool to do all that stuff, but there's, of course, dangers of isolating and becoming obsessed with things and, and having phobias, and that was the whole thing, is like each of those planets was like a phobia of mine when I was little, and when I was little, before I'd go to bed, I would obsess about these things because I thought I'd be able to fix them, but in the end I would just make them worse. <laughs> they wouldn't be fixed, but I would be so obsessed with them. The next day that I go to school, I'd have stomach aches and I need to go home. Uh, a lot of the imagery and, and, and stuff that I, that I pulled from, I'm still very, very, very happy with. To me, it speaks perfectly of, of how I felt when I was little. Like When I play that game, that's exactly how I remember it, feeling, and uh, still very happy with it. And then shortly after that, my, um, my grandma passed away and she had a box of, of my drawings that she saved when I was little. And that's when I found a, um, this picture that I had drawn of me in space floating. And this is like, this is Edmund floating in space and my friend is, my friend too is space or something like that. Space is my friend and, and my friend too is me. I should, I should pick that out. But yeah, no, it was, it was validating to find that box and see those things and be like, wow, like, this is just like the game. 